I am so glad I finished uploading all my stuff for the Skillshare class that I started on Sunday, what I've been telling you all about, like the past couple of days. And last night, got home later than usual because I was waiting for the bus and I thought, okay, I'm not going to call my mother to come pick me up because I want, I don't want to have to depend on her as much as possible because I want to be able to do stuff on my own. So, some changes fall out of my pocket. But anyways, fell asleep last night while I was uploading a vlog and just to speed it up, I got everything uploaded for my Skillshare class and class is just just has two weeks left and I am so psyched with how my work has turned out. I'm I am so pumped. And I'm just in a great mood this morning. What the hell? Man who slipped on Gatorade sign at Walmart wins 1.3 million dollars in damages. So let me read a little bit of it to you. A Walmart customer who slipped on a falling Gatorade sign won a $1.3 million verdict for his injuries. Tom, I can't even say his last name is so long. A 41-year-old Florida resident was carrying a water bottle while shopping at a Walmart in Port St. Lucie, Florida. When he stepped on a Gatorade sign that had fallen off a display, he took a violent spill, tearing a tendon in his right bicep. Papa Kalu. Papa Kalodu, Papa Kalodukas, whoa, underwent three surgeries and had to get an Achilles tendon from cadaver tissue inserted in his arm. My goodness, how could he have not seen the damn sign? Well, I was taking Scooby for a walk this morning, because it's raining outside right now. I said, I am so glad I took the trash can and recycling to the end of the road. Cause I probably would have been pissed if I had done that to myself. But oh, I mean, rain is just water. Let me go ahead and do some chakra meditation and get this day going. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> a. That son of a bitch! Wow! Did you all see that? That's what. Tra Truck just did. <laughs> I ain't even. I'm not even mad because it's funny. Well, I'm glad I went ahead and got that out the way. I don't know why I am breathing so hard, but I need to find me something to eat and take for lunch or I may go to Target and just get me two packs of tuna. I have one for today and one for tomorrow, but I believe I had, I can just take me a peanut butter sandwich and eat that and be good to go. And we have some leftovers here in the refrigerator and we do. So that'd be good. Oh, what am I tripping for? Especially when we have some chicken or barbecue chicken. And let me show you all somebody who has not been in the vlogs in a couple of days. He's out here eating right now. <laughs> Unexpected interview. What are you eating? You don't have any, hardly any water left. I so remember this album. Me and my friends, we used to listen to this. And they're really what got me into listening to Slipknot, but it was either Slipknot and Mudvayne can I listen to either nowadays. But I always thought they were such a unique band because how they all wore masks and then they were like, some kind of suits as well. I thought that was pretty cool when that came out. And this came out in 1998. Wow. 
Okay, let me get myself together. I seen the funniest video I have seen in a very long time. It was of a guy and his wife was filming him and he was eating corn like a redneck. I'm not going to tell you all how he was eating the corn. I just put the video in the description. I guarantee you that you will laugh. I believe I heard the mail, so I'm going to check after I put my food in the microwave if my license is here. I don't remember the last time I had a lunch like this in quite some time. Just some barbecue chicken, mashed potatoes, potatoes, and well, vegetables and potatoes. So this is going to be amazing. It's going to hold me over. That is the effects of a newspaper just sitting getting rain on and ran over repeatedly which i thought that was pretty crazy and i'm finally well i'm glad i finally remembered to show you all instead of when i'm walking home oh my goodness i have been going been doing it my all the past couple of days it's like this morning i was pretty busy with the schoolwork that i did so what all i did was I had to upload my sketches and color scheme that I chose and the typeface and write a little bit and then I did some hits as well. But I've been doing what I had learned from Jim Rohn is to basically is wherever you are, be there. Focus on the here and now instead of being off in some other place. And that's what I've been really trying to do today instead of the previous days how I would be thinking about how like for an example like I'm walking to the bus now I'd be thinking of how it's going to be when how can I say this hmm. almost as if I would be walking home instead of focusing on walking to the bus right now <laughs> Well, I just finished the Robert Greene Mastery audiobook. I definitely recommend picking it up somehow, some way, even if you have to listen to it on YouTube or just whatever. The I'm just blown away by the amount of success that these people achieved after they put in the amount of hours required. It is mind-boggling. Same with Leonardo da Vinci as well. So, I'm back in. I'm just gonna pop me some popcorn and call it a night. Thank you so much for watching. And, oh, hold up. The Method Man album, The Cow. Oh my God. It was like the best, one of the, the whole Wu-Tang is unbelievable. I'd have, I don't know what else to say about him because you would not hear rap music or hip hop like that at all nowadays. It would just be some BS. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a good night and I will see you tomorrow. Cell phone fighting, it's freaking hilarious. It is from... I don't, it has to be older or from some, well, I want to say some third world country. But anyways, they have, well, if you remember the old cell phones where you could stand them up like this and they.